Dum diddy dum diddy dum. Oh, hey there. It's K Bar user. How y'all doing today? Well, as I said in one of my videos, Ontario sent me a bunch of knives to review. So, this is another knife review. Once I get done with these, we'll try to get some field time in because, oh, honestly, between the rain and the humidity, it's been stifling here. The only time I've felt humidity like this was down in Fort Polk. It was bad. Anyhow, excuse me. Ontario's new knives. Okay, here we go. So these are the Hunt Plus series knives. There's a Skinner blade. There's a drop point regular hunter. Now both of them are the same, so when I give you the specs, it's both the same specs. Now, I got them wrote down here so I don't get them wrong because I did that once before. Overall length is 9.9 and 19 inches. No. <laughs> 9.19. That's it. That's the overall length. It's fixed blade, obviously. The hardness are 55 to 57, which means they'll be easy to sharpen. They won't hold an edge for, you know, a great distance of time, like, say, a buck that sharpened to 5860. But they'll hold a good edge, and it'll keep it, and it'll be easy to resharpen. Uh, blade material, both of them, are stainless steel. Doesn't give me the uh, HCM 153 Grovan Molly Bang 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 whatever. They're stainless. The blade length on both of them are four inches. The handles are synthetic over molded rubber or full tang. Now, okay so that's that's the general specs. Cost of either one of these knives from the website is right around $55. If you're looking for a hunting knife, it's right around $55 on the website. I'm sure you can find them online at a whole different price. Um, now, okay, that's that. The knife itself, stainless steel, obviously. It's got a razor sharp edge, which a lot of people say, oh, stainless steel won't do that. Stainless steel will. Spines on them are absolutely phenomenal. It looks, it's bigger than 3 sixteenths, I know that. It might be just 3 sixteenths, a little bit thicker. Like I said, it's rubber over molded full tang handles. The handles are just a little bit different than most knives you see. There's a palm swell here and then it tapers back and it fits your hand. It fits your hand beautiful. As weird as it may sound. I mean, this back here is just enough for your fingers to grab onto, but not be so big that it's uncontrollable. And you could get a purchase on these knives. I've tried this one in particular, skinning fish, and uh, you know, he had uh, filleting them and whatnot, and th there's no slippage. I'm not going to get into the details of y'all you know, clean fish before, but there's no slippage on these handles. It's kind of textured in this area, flat top has got some, uh, I guess you would call it ridges, jimping, bottom the same way, and all the way up around the back. Distal taper on this knife is beautiful. It's got a heck of a tip on it. So you really don't have to worry about breaking it, using it as a hunting knife. Now, um, this is right out of the box. Like I said, I've, no, this one isn't. This is right out of the box. So this one here I skinned, uh, Two fish did some feather sticks with. Uh, that's just push cut. That's not a slide cut like this would be. Okay. So yeah, it it has a good edge even after a little use. I'm not saying a lot of use. I particularly myself, I like drop point blades. Mostly because of this. But the drop point, if you're skinning a deer or something else, and you go up you know, under that stomach, you got this this little bit of tip here sticking up. This will ride on whatever you're doing. This tip will ride out of the area. 
So therefore you won't be puncturing things you don't want to puncture, you're just cut and hide. I, I like drop point knives. So this is their drop point hunter. There's no model number to it, it's just a drop point hunter. Like I said, they run around right around $57, $58 in the uh, Ontario's line. This is called the Hunt Plus series. This is the Skinner model, obviously. Uh, same deal with the palm swell, the jimping, the texturing. The handles are exactly the same. Same stainless steel. Blade design, obviously, is a little bit different. This knife here, if you can see it, you can get right up in there. Fit your hand beautiful without touching the blade. And you can, you know, get your skinning done. Personally, myself, I don't see any real big difference between using that and using this. Been using these for years. Okay, so uh, it's a bit wider blade. It does have a swedge on top here. The blade comes up. They're both flat grind. They're both 57 or 55, 57 hardness. This one is right out of the box. Never used it. So. That's just a push cut, slicing cuts. You know, if you are using it as a skinner, I don't know if you really be able to see them or not. But if you are using it as a skinner, that's enough to, you know, separate your hide. So that's knives. Um, I want to say here now, I am in no way endorsed by Ontario Knives. I review for them. I've had a lot of people ask me that, and it's like, well, you know, it's nice where you could be endorsed. I am not. I do not get paid for doing these reviews. I just think these are phenomenal knives. I always have. Um, you know, and now, as far as these knives are concerned, we'll go with the sheets first, because they're both the same. And then we'll get into a little bit different aspect. These are Cordura. Basically how the sheaths on these are made is you got a, a back section here. Runs up over your belt loop. This is plastic reinforced. There's some kind of a flexible plastic in there. It's plastic reinforced. Um, there is a... You're not going to be able to see it. I know it. But there is a swedge in here, or a welt in the, the sheath itself to stop you from cutting it because this top is sewed on. It kind of looks like everything folds over the welt, and the welt is a square all the way around, and then they sew the top of it onto it. There is a liner in here. Stop me from cutting the Cordura. I can't get to it, but there is a liner in there. The only problem I'm having with these knives, and the only foreseeable problem I have with the sheath, is the fact that when you go to insert the knife, the retention strap here is in the way. So you'd have to pull that out of the way insert the knife. This is a brand new sheath, so it's not broken. And then the retention strap fits, you know, over top as usual. And there's no wiggling, no nothing. Personally, myself, if I'm going to tend to use this knife, I'm taking this retention strap off. I'm just using the top one. This thing's a pain in the butt. So that's the basic sheath. Like I said, they both have great spines, which led me to think. All right. They're really sharp, four inch blade, easy to sharpen, stainless steel. They do strike a ferro rod like nobody's business. Don't let anybody tell you you need a high carbon contact to strike a ferro rod. As long as you've got a good edge, good spine, you can strike a ferro rod. But it was leading me to believe, I mean, they are kind of a thicker knife. I don't think they're 3 16 but I don't think they're a quarter inch either. But they're a bit thicker knife. 
And I was thinking, you know, that's about the perfect bush crafting size. Woods crafting, whatever you want to call it nowadays. That is just about the perfect size. So, you know, if I get lost in the woods with some of my hunting knives, you've seen them on my commercial, uh, custom versus commercial blade. Some of my hunting knives that I designate as hunters, they've got rat tail tangs on them, they're thinner blades, they're, and they're made for skinning, not for uh, handling a situation. I honestly do believe these are made for handling a situation. And if I was going to be stuck in the woods hunting and get lost, you know, generally you're not lost more than two days. Come on, I mean, let's serious. You walk two days in my area in any direction, you're hitting civilization. Actually, it's more like a half a day or a full day, but let's just say you're going around in circles. So that knife right there and this Skinner will handle most any bushcraft situation out there. I got thinking about it and it was like, well, you know, darn, yeah, that, uh, that's a, a heck of a blade to have in the woods, which is thick. It's stainless steel. You don't have to worry about the rust. It's got a good purchase. It'll do everything that, you know, any other four-inch knife will do and more. But I don't really have to worry about breaking this one too much. Well, it'll notch pretty good. It is a flat grain, so not your scanty type grain. But once you get used to them, you can you can make some pretty decent feathers with them. And that's the whole trick of it is getting used to your blade. Well, might as well just dump them off because none of them stuck. But as you can see, you know they're they're nice thin rolls. Skinner blade. My accuracy was better with it. On a Skinner blade, there's a notch for you. This is getting even thinner rolls than the other one. This is a piece of seasoned oak, by the way. This is the stick of death. But as you can see, now there, we've gotten some nice rolls. So, could it be a double duty knife? Darn tootin' again. I would literally say that if I ever got lost in the woods, I had one of these with me, I would not worry about whether my knife is going to hold up to my tasks. I don't worry about it anyway. But most of the time, you know, I can, a pocket knife usually will suffice. But if I had one of these strapped to my side or in my pack or what, however you hunt, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. So once again, just real quick on the specs, Cordura sheets, plastic lined, retention strap is one thing you'll have to deal with yourself. Um, and they even have a welt inside of the sheath, great sheath. Um, rubber over molded, textured, chipping on the top. Nice ergonomic for your hand. Palm swell here where you know it fits in your hand great little finger choil to stop it. Uh, hardness is uh, 55, 57, four inch blade length, stainless steel, flat grind. Ontario knives, what more can you say about them? So, this is K-Bar user. I thank you for your time and your patience and uh, like I said, once again, I am in no way endorsed by Ontario. I just find them to be absolutely phenomenal knives. Price of these knives, like I said, running the, uh, the $55 range, $57 range. You'll probably find them cheaper online. 
if you're looking for a new hunting knife for this year or just something pushing your collection, you know, for keeping in camp or in the backpack, I will have to say this knife is a little bit heavier than this one, probably because of the width of the blade. But you can't beat these knives. You just can't. Like I said, of you know, bushcrafting too. Just because something has a bushcraft moniker to it doesn't mean it has to be. Just because something says you know hunting doesn't means it doesn't mean it has to be. So once again, Ontario knives, Hunt Plus series. Drop point and skinner. Great knives. It's K Bar user. I want to thank you for your time and your patience. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please do. And we will see you on the next one. I wonder how these would look on my wall. Kind of like a pirate thing. For mini me. Arg! <laughs>